Ukrainian tennis player Sergei Stakovsky is now placed 138th in the ATP ranking. In September 2010, he was number 31. This season isn't the most successful in the athlete's career, but he is full of hope to return to the top 100. At the beginning of the year after the Davis Cup, where we lost to the Swedes, I felt very ill and couldn't find myself after it, and it was rather hard. I told myself I can either train a certain amount of time a day, or I can end it all, because there is no point in working part-time, so to speak. Well, we'll see where it takes me at the end of the season. I promised myself to fulfill certain mini-goals until November 30th. We'll see how it ends. While in Ukraine, Sergei trains with his former colleague, now coach, Oras Tarashuk. They played together on the Ukrainian team at the Davis Cup and competed against each other at other tournaments. Oras believes that Sergei's success formula is talent and stubbornness. The path of every professional on this level is not easy, but his was even more difficult. He trained here in Ukraine, in the Czech Republic, in Slovakia. Few people believe that he could achieve what he has achieved. His stubbornness and hard work, especially in his younger days, is what gave him a chance for success. Serhei won four ATP tournaments in singles and three in doubles. His colleagues believe that one of his best matches was the victory against the eight-time winner Roger Federer in the second round of Wimbledon 2013. Central Court, victory against Federer at his favorite tournament, where he'd won most of all. It's like beating Barcelona at Camp Nou in the Champions League final, for example. However, Sergei himself believes that his main victory was in Zagreb in 2008, where he beat Ivan Lubicic from Croatia. Sergei lost in the final round of qualifications and entered the main draw as a lucky loser, thanks to the withdrawal of one of the players. For me, it was a ticket to the tournament, a ticket to my career. It was the beginning of my career. My victory began with this tournament. The victory against Lubicic was the end of this tournament. It was the final. It was a tournament where he had won three times, where he had been in the final twice. So he was at home. And for the 22-year-old me, it was amazing to be ranked 215th. Sergei Sikovsky is still only 32. He's not going to put his racket away quite yet. His next plan is to win a Grand Slam tournament and compete at the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo.